Hi, this is Ranjit from tech to bus and today I'm going to talk about the new MacBook Air. This is a 13 inch 2010 model. Uh, I have been using this here is the actual machine. Uh, I've been using this for now approximately for about 45 days and these are my observations. It won't, I, I won't call this a review but basically uh, my observations while using this First, let's look at the design. It's really slim, and if you notice, this tapers down. It's slim here and it's a little bit fat at the back. Here we have the MagSafe power adapter port. Here we have the USB 2 port and the headset and the mic jack, a mini microphone. On the other side, yes, we do get a SD card reader, a USB 2 and a display port adapter. This SD card slot is not available in the 11 inch MacBook Air. The MacBook Air is just about 2.9 pounds that is about 1.3 kgs but surprisingly uh, it feels a little bit more heavier because I have used a lot of 10 inch netbooks that were 1.3 kgs in uh, weight and they seem to be light. Please uh, give your inputs regarding the same. Now let's compare the thickness. I have a iPad. Let me place it beside the same. Do notice it's thinner than the iPad. And but the back is almost the same. If I stick it up. Alright. So as you can see the iPad, it looks bigger in the video, but this thing is really thin, okay? Uh, let's compare it to the first generation iPhone. Yeah, it still works. See? Obviously the back is a little bit thicker. Good. I have my HTC Legend, an Android phone. Yep, it's thinner than that. Let me put it this way so you can gauge. I hope. From this profile it looks really thin. But from the back, it's like this. It's about 0.68 inch according to documentation. Let's do a size comparison with an iPad. Do note this is a 13 inch uh, MacBook Air. The 11 inch is really small. Let me place it over. See. This is an uh, iPad is I think so 9.7 inches. So you can see the extra. It's, it's a bit bigger than iPad. We'll place it here. Yeah I would say about 40% bigger than an iPad. But in a carry bag, you can. I have carried this MacBook Air 13 inches throughout the day in my bag and I didn't feel the weight. So that's where it counts. If you are moving a lot, this is an ideal laptop. I have opened the MacBook Air. Uh, I just wanted to show you the keyboard. It's a full, uh, full keyboard, but there's one uh, omission. It's not backlit, okay? Uh, I really love the uh, huge trackpad. Let me put my iPhone to get you an idea. See, almost the same, okay. In the height department, it's even bigger than the iPhone. It's really roomy with the multi-touch cache. Basically, I have no problems with the keyboard. It's an excellent, excellent uh, way to, you can type like crazy on this one. And I love the multi-touch trackpad. Now let's look at the performance. This is where this really shines and it even surprised me. Okay, I'm going to open, uh, start opening a bunch of apps. My mailbox, see how instantly. My browser, App Store, iTunes, iPhoto. Can you see how fast it's loading? Chrome browser. It's just instant. Uh, the delay is because my internet is a bit slow. As you can see, it's so fast. Open in a snap. Let me open one heavy app. Uh, that's let's see how much time Photoshop takes. Okay, one, two, three. Voila, done. I just love the speed of this. This is uh, do note that this is just having two GB of RAM, but <laughs> in the performance uh, stuff, it's even faster than my iMac that has a four GB. This is due to the fact that this has a SSD. 
it's blazing fast this is one of the fastest laptop that I have used let's now see how fast does it shut down and restart I'm going to shut it down one two three go yes rest I'm gonna click restart now it's off amazing okay let's see how much time it takes to start done it's completely booted it's not like okay see i open the mac so it's done chrome done the slowest slowness of page loading is due to my net connection the laptop is extremely fast you need to get a faster internet connection i guess so let's look at the basically battery life and the heat uh, let's look at the battery life first um, apple specifies is that the 13 inch should get about seven hours of battery life um, but uh, it's a mixed thing according to me uh, it's five hours for the 11 inch and seven hours for the 13 inch that the 13 inch that i have i have noticed the battery life to vary a lot it can vary from uh, say six hours to about nine to ten hours you might ask why uh, in your normal browsing sessions uh, if aren't if you are not doing anything heavy you can easily get about uh, eight to nine hours or even about ten hours for uh, but if you start loading heavy apps and particularly if you start watching a lot of uh, flash based videos like YouTube etc the battery is starts falling like crazy yeah it's true it's instant on uh, but um, the instant on is only if you keep your MacBook uh, on sleep mode for an hour if the MacBook uh, is in the sleep for more than an hour I have noticed that it enters into the, this deep sleep mode and uh, resuming from uh, the deep sleep, uh, the MacBook, uh, it's definitely not instant on it because it takes about 3-4 seconds for it to wake up uh, after a deep sleep. Apple claims about 30 days of battery life uh, with a deep sleep and uh, obviously I couldn't test the same but I've noticed uh, I just leave my MacBook in sleep mode most of the time, don't shut it off and I noticed in a day about it loses about 3 to 4% of the battery life. So I guess it might work for the 30 day thing.